Hey folks, how we doing? So as you see, got three new ones and uh, two of them. Honestly, even I wouldn't expect me to do that because I'm not the biggest fan of the machine look handles, but I just had to try it. I wanted, I was curious how it is. I got the rotary table on the anchor cell a couple weeks back. I think it was two weeks back. So I just had to give it a go and try it. So you see those two. But first one was after the last copper inlay, I wanted to do one more and kind of same case like here, you know, I did the small one first and then I said, you know, I like it, let's do the kind of like large one also with the same kind of deal, same thing. So that's what I did here. I had the small copper inlay with the three lines and I decided to try more. It was more challenging and it, it did create more, more problems with the four, uh, with more lines this way. So it's kind of when you pin it in tends to bend the handle that way so it was hard to manage to stay straight and still pin it in so it has a nice fit inside so it was it was challenging uh, did that cool crater uh, pivot it's alpha knife pivot make uh, it looks like almost like a changing ball I would say so you see pretty cool oh one more thing is I did the what is it Mokutai not the Mokutai sorry uh, Mokume, Mokume uh, backspacer that I got from Nick Wu. That piece, it was a while back. Finally, decided what to what I'm gonna use it for, and it's gonna be probably more backspaces in the future. So you see, just a nice drop point. Uh, one new thing what I tried was rounded spine up here, and it just fluently changes into the nice subtle little switch. It's stone wash, nice and nice and clean sound wash, nice and clean grind uh, pocket clip again contoured with the with the scale that's good action oh, what was that little sticky maybe all very smooth so that one is here This one I don't think I carbonize actually. When I don't have to, I try not to carbonize because that gives you more more options in the future to fix it. Because if you do it really, really well, lac doesn't need carbonizing. You know, it's heat treated uh, by flame. It's I orange peel the lac, so that also you know work hardens the surface. So the carbide, it's just like you know leave it. If you don't have to, don't do it. Here's uh, the first of those machine ones. And uh, I really liked it. For some reason, it got my attention just instantly. And I went with a clean, you know, 45 degree chamfer, just to achieve the nice and round feel of the handle. And even though I'm not a fan of the, you know, boxy handles, it just there is something about it that I really like. So if the, it's still comfortable, you know. Obviously, it's, it's not uncomfortable. It has plenty of radius the chamfer to make it comfortable. Nice 45 going to the middle it's essentially almost like if it was rounded with the, the same radius as the thickness is perfectly centered kind of matching pocket clip matching theme insanely smooth and just clean siding grind with that you know reverse tanto and the switch so it just skips just falls down and uh, I learned a couple things when I was doing this and kind of put that in the work in this one. So uh, I created kind of like a parts areas with the diamond pattern, square pattern here. It's interesting that when you connect the two different angle circles, they create all different things which are pretty interesting, I think. So you, you see kind of the epicenters of this one was here, this one was here, this one was here just creates this pretty cool effect to it again kind of matching pocket clip and this one I did the uh, spine work as well with the mill so this one is just this one is insane the action on this is just <laughs> crazy just like this one but this because it's bigger blade it just has more authority so it just rips open so quick this one is a little more subtle Still nice, but a little more subtle. This one is just this one rips without 
already crazy. So you see that just nice long switch, clean satin. And uh, I forgot to mention this one is green, then sanded the flats and the blue stone wash and bronze. And this one is blue, the high voltage blue stone wash, sanded flats and then gold like bronze. So all the flats you see are actually bl uh, bronze color. I think it works really well. There is something about that really clean look of it, the just the clean chamfers and everything. I can see why a lot of people like this type of knives when you have just simple chamfer on the corners. Just makes it look a little, little more cleaner. I personally still like, you know, either conceal carry or my type of handle. Uh, the next thing probably will be this, this kind of thing, but on my hand, so you're gonna have only very small hints on the what I normally have as flats, you know, the little pieces here, here, and then here. You're gonna see that uh, circles or the leftovers of the circles only on those areas, so that's gonna be something I try next. Now these are a lot of work, you know, don't forget this is all done with the manual mill. So you're sitting there, I have to change it so I can spin the drill, I, I don't have a big big uh, key for the nut to, you know, fit it over it, to make it be, be able to spin it with the, with the drill. But you know, I'm sitting there for hours just turning handles to, to do this, so definitely not the it's not the hard work but it's it's kind of like the tedious work and you have to pay attention that make sure that nothing is moving and that everything is nice and secure so guys hope you enjoyed it i'm putting these on the gear bastion so you can see them there you can grab them there if you're interested guys thank you for watching thank you for all the support take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself